So in my last video, I came out here and tried to use an agave flower stock um, to as an improvised container for boiling water, and it didn't seem to work. It, uh, I think that pithy material that the agave is made out of uh, soaked up my water too quickly um, for that to work. So today I'm going to come out and try it again. Only I'm going to use uh, the hot rocks method, just cooking rocks over the fire and then dropping them in and try it that way. I'm also gonna make some uh, tongs for retrieving those rocks out of the fire and uh, uh, use the agave plant also for making the cordage for those tongs. So as you can see, these have these wicked spikes on there. They also have one on the end. So before I start working with them, for making cordage, I just go ahead and cut that end piece off and then I try to cut those edges off the best I can. Try not to cut too deep in there. I don't want to waste any of my fibers. But I also don't want to be stabbed a thousand times. So now I got to break these up a little bit so that I can get the fibers out to be able to work with. And I want to kind of be careful with it because I don't want to tear any of the fibers. I want nice long fibers out of this. So just kind of work it like this a little bit. Try to get it started. Then I'll do some light pounding on it with a rock. And when I do that, I try to use, this isn't the smoothest rock. None of them are out here. But I'm going to be careful where I'm hitting it to make sure I'm um, getting a good, that I'm not breaking those, those fibers. I'm just kind of trying to crack that up so I can remove that outer part. Okay, so here's my fiber, um, ready to make cord out of it. This is the flower stock from Toomey's agave. The uh, leaves, this is a different kind of agave than what I'm gonna make my plant container out of. Um, but I'm gonna use this stock for the uh, for my fire tongs. I think this will work good. So the sun's pretty hot today, so I want to stay out of it as much as I can. So I've got my um, agave flower stock for making the plant, uh, for making the water container, and then a piece of the um, Tumi's agave, which I'm going to use for just a simple uh, fire tongue. I'm going to make and some cordage to tie it. So I got all my materials. I'm going to hang out under this uh, nice little rock shelter that uh, has signs that it's being used by other creatures, so I'll try to stay out of their way. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hang out in here, build my stuff, and then I'll head out to um, to get the fire going and heat up those rocks. All right, I got my little hollowed out section of this agave. Um, I carved a little notch here, and hopefully that works to be able to drink out of. Um, we will see, but now I'm going to work on my fire tongs. So I'm keeping these fire tongs really simple. Um, this is just going to be act as a little wedge for this one that I've already split. And that will just set in there like so. And then I'm going to use my cordage to secure that, that wedge and also keep this from splitting further. And so the idea being that once this is in here, um, I'll have to pick my rocks carefully so that they fit these 
but the idea would be that I can just kind of push this in here and jam it in and it'll hold. Pretty simple, but uh, should be useful and keep me from getting burned. So for my cordage, I don't need it to be super strong uh, for what I'm doing. It just needs to hold my tongs together. So I'm going to go through and separate a bunch of bundles so that they're already ready for me and uh, set them aside. And as I do that, I'm going to make sure all these little scales are off it because uh, those will just get in the way. So for this cord, all I'm going to do here is I start from um, the center. Actually, I go a little off center uh, and that helps with the strength when you're weaving in the next ones. And I'm just going to twist and I'm going to twist it until, so if I twist it, so right here it's pretty tight. If I twist a little bit further, it starts to kink and I want it to kink. I let it fold over just like that. Okay, so I got that first kink and all I'm going to do is I'm going to twist this right side until it's about to kink like that and then I send it in front of that other fiber letting this one come back behind. Okay now same thing on that right side twisting until it's about to go. Now I twist it. So you can see it's starting to make a little twist there. And I just keep doing that. Never do anything with the strand on the left except for push it aside. So it's starting to get that nice little twist there and twist, push it aside twist, push it aside. I'm just going to keep doing this until it starts to get towards the end of the strand and then I'll add in a new section of fibers. I think I got a long enough stretch here, so I'm just tying off my loose end with just a double strand of fiber. Just gonna do some wraps and tie it off here. Okay, so I got a decent amount of cord built here. I think it's going to be enough for what I'm doing. All I really need to do is um, lightly secure this wedge in and then do a few rounds around here to, to keep it from splitting. Um, so I really shouldn't need too much. I'm collecting my rocks here and I'm collecting them with this to make sure that I'm getting rocks that um, that pick up easy enough with this so they don't give me any troubles when they're over the fire. Another thing to remember too with uh, whenever you're doing hot rocks like this you don't want to use like the smooth river rocks because a lot of times they'll explode and that's never good. Just gonna keep this fire burning over these rocks, heating them up. Um, and then once they're nice, once the rocks are nice and hot, I can throw them into my uh, water, get it going.
So this works better than, than the way that I did it in my last video. I think because I was able to bring it to a boil so quickly using the hot rocks that I didn't lose as much water. I still lost some of my water, probably about half of it. And I think some of that's due to this pithy material that the agave stock is made of. Um, but also I was throwing, as my rocks cooled, I was pulling them out and removing them. So, you know, you lose some water through that and of course through steam. Um, but overall, I think this is a better, better method. And what I really like about it is that the, um, the container is uh, still reusable so I can continue to use this. You gotta pour slowly, <laughs> otherwise you lose your water. I got this little cut notch here, but it's not, not doing a whole lot. So I think that this agave plant can be used as a water container for purifying water, but I think you have to do it the hot rock way because um, it has to, you don't have a whole lot of time before it starts sinking in. I was able to look into this um, thing after I pulled the water out of it. And if you look down into there, I can squish my finger way down in here there's water pooling in there. Uh, I think that's where I'm losing all my water is it's running with the grain. Uh, I mean, it's absorbing in all directions with that pith material, but it's especially running with the grain off into the sides. Um, and, I'm, and that's where you're losing a lot of water. So overall, I think it works okay. It's not a bad method, um, uh, especially for the short term, getting some water and helping to sustain you until you can set up something a little bit more permanent. Found this awesome lookout point, so I'm going to chill here for a little bit. Absorb some quietness. I'm going to start making my way out of here now. But real quick, I wanted to thank all of you who, who watch my Adventure Ryan channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of work on it throughout this year. And uh, any help I can get from anybody to spread the word and and uh, share it with others let people know what's about it if you like the channel and uh, if you don't like it don't share it I guess but um and because that really helps um, and I also appreciate the comments in my previous video I uh, I titled that one hold on I gotta step over this cactus <laughs> I titled that one a failed attempt uh, because it didn't work the plant container didn't work that time um, and I had a lot of people commenting um, a lot of you commenting that it wasn't truly a failure because because I learned something from it um, and I appreciate you saying that and encouraging me like that uh, I definitely agree with that I'm um, I'm always uh, trying to learn new things and part of learning is making mistakes and and so I'll some of those mistakes I'll share on this channel too because there's there's so much you can learn from those mistakes and personally I appreciate those opportunities that I have to make mistakes and to experience things um, because it helps me gain knowledge to help solve future problems and and things so um, so thank you for watching uh, please subscribe if you haven't already it really helps me and uh, and that way you continue to get these videos.